Welcome to episode 47 of Tools in the Hall. I've been dying to put this episode together for you for a week or two because I've got some stuff that came in that I've been very eager to show you, including some brand new tools from Milwaukee that I spotlighted in my last flyer drop video. But I also have some Milwaukee deals that I've been able to put together for some of my customers. And I'll give you a little behind the scenes information about how the tool business works and why I can put together such a sweet deal for my customers and have it work out very well for me in the end too. So I'll tease you with that one. I'll save that one for later just to make sure you watch the video. <laughs> and if you haven't seen a tool haul video before, welcome if you have, well, this is your 47th one perhaps. I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel. It really helps it grow and like the video, leave a comment uh, and just be active in what we do on the channel because it helps grow, it increases my, my channel revenue, and it's, it's one of the reasons why I have the channel is to earn a little bit of money from it and also give you some useful information. So if you're getting something useful out of it, please share the love and click the subscribe button. On with the tool haul. First, these are the gear wrench bolt biter extractor sockets. This is the eight piece set. They've got a master set that's got 29 pieces in it and they have a few other sets that are different sizes based on how many sockets they put in there. Not only do they have it in the socket form factor, they also have it in the nut driver form factor with a quarter drive hex shank that you can use in a quick connect chuck for an impact driver. So they've got this style and that style. This is the most popular one, so I've always put this out on the truck. It's a good set because it's fairly inexpensive compared to the Irwin extractor sockets, and it's much less expensive than the larger sets the gear wrench has. I think this one's going for about $84 right now, and the advantage you get to the bolt biters is unlike the Irwin ones that have a fluted spiral, that rather have spiral fluting in them that only work in reverse, the gear wrench ones have a straight fluting. So not only will they work to remove a bolt, but they'll also work to fasten one if you have to reuse it or if you have to extract a bolt with a left-handed thread. You can use it in both directions. They have lifetime warranties on them, so if you strip it out or beat it up or whatever, well, let's give you a new one. They're also impact rated, so I think for the money, this eight-piece set is an outstanding value. One of the greatest things that the bolt biters have is undersized sockets. For example, they'll have a 10 and a 10 minus, and a 13 and a 13 minus, and a 19 and a 19 minus. What that does is if you have a bolt head that's stripped out and it's smaller than, say, 10 millimeters, but is larger than nine, that 10 minus will be the one you'd want to use to get the grab on the bolt and remove it. Outstanding set. I sell a lot of these very good results. I've used them myself to get, my, to, to get me out of a tight mind, and uh, I love them a lot. They're, they are worth their money for sure. Can't beat the lifetime warranty, although I've only had to fill a warranty claim on one sock at one time in the years that I've been selling these. So they were great value, and they hold up very, very well. I just sold a master set a couple of days ago to a guy who couldn't wait to get it because he borrowed another guy's set in the shop that I sold a while back, and... So the, uh, the word gets out and as it gets around the shop, then you see the customer base grow on these. And I'm glad because I think they really are a superior product and you can't beat the price. Next we have these neck lights from Easy Red. They come in this red color and green and orange. This is very similar to the one you've seen on the Snap-on truck. This is also identical to the one Mako and Cornwell sells. This is the one with the independent light heads that charge by themselves and you can turn them on and off by themselves. Um, Easy Red manufactures the neck light for Snap-on, although it's a slightly different design, and they also manufacture that same light for Mako and Cornwell in the identical design, just different colors, and they put the different brands on them for those other companies. Popular light. It's great because not only can you wear it around your neck, but you can also wear it around your head, and because there's no battery pack in the back, you can lean back or lay back on your peeper without interfering with the back of your head or neck, so it's much more comfortable very versatile, and it's one of the better neck lights that I've seen. I have, I have seen others from K-Tool, but I don't think they're built as well, and I like the features and the build quality on the easy one, on the easy red one the best. Here's one of the new products I was hoping to show you. This has also been highlighted in my 
flyer drop video. So if you haven't seen that, please go ahead and check it out because I show you these and a bunch of other things that I've been very interested in. This is the Milwaukee Dead Blow Hammer. This is a 48 ounce mallet style. They also have ball peen styles with metal heads on them. I'm waiting for more to arrive. This is the only one that showed up. I put, I, I ordered a bunch of them because I'm dying to get these on the truck because the pricing on these is so much better than the gear wrench ones and the snap on ones and any of the other brands. I can't wait to show my customers these and see how well they sell. It's built extremely well. The build, the, the, they're solid, solid units and I love the grip on them. That's a non-slip grip if you ever saw one. And here's one cool little feature. The top of the head is squared off. <laughs> so you can set it straight down and not have it fall over. It'll stand up for you on a flat surface. How cool is that? These little things are what I love so much about the design work that Milwaukee puts into their tools. And there's also a, a lanyard loop on the back if you need it, or you can hang it by that if you have a pig board. Dying to get these on the truck uh, in full force. So this is the first of many that I have ordered. Can't wait for them to come in. Um, I forget what the pricing is. It's in the it's in the flyer video, but they're all, they're like, I, I want to say they're at least 20, 30% less than, than the other brands. Um, they look comparable, I guess, in build quality to the snap-on ones and the gear wrench ones, but the pricing is lower on these. Lifetime warranty on them. And, um, if they're any, like everything else that Milwaukee makes, not only are they going to be very high quality, but warranty fulfillment could not be easier with them. I just give you a new one and take your old one and we're good to go. Or sometimes we have to file a claim with Milwaukee, but that's mostly for their power tools. For their hand tools, it's a different process and it makes it even faster and easier. A wrench extender is a tool of refinement that you can use to get extra leverage when you need it with the wrench that you're using if the handle isn't long enough. It beats using a cheater pipe or doubling up your wrenches because it's safer, it won't slip off the wrench, and I know people who have gotten injured, um, potentially losing some eyesight in, in, in a case or two where people have done that. So do yourself the favor and spend the extra money to get yourself a wrench extender from either Vim, this is their 15 inch wrench extender with a comfort grip handle. You just put the wrench in the jaws and then it locks it in and then you just have another 15 inches of leverage or the one from Mueller Cubes, this is a 13 inch model. The difference is this does not have a comfort grip panel because it has a square drive hole in the back and you can use that for a breaker bar. If 13 inches isn't long enough, then you can put a breaker bar on here and get an even longer wrench extender out of it. Your choice. The Vim one is on sale for, I think, $64.99, and the Mueller one is, I think, $85. This one is normally, I want to say $75 or $80, if I'm not mistaken. So the Vim one's on sale right now on the flyer, and then the Mueller one is at its regular price. They do have a larger version of this, but it's strangely large and very expensive. Normally, unless you need something that large, go with a 13-inch. If you like the Mueller with the, this type of handle or save yourself a couple of bucks, Go with the Vim one, which is a beautiful full polished finish with a comfort grip handle. I want to say that these sell both about the same, so I don't think it really matters much. This depends on your preference. I'm in ratchet restock mode. I looked on the ceiling of the truck and realized I'm, I'm out a lot of individual ratchets. We got some sets that are in, but I need to restock on the individuals. This is the GearWrench 90 tooth 3 8 drive ratchet. And it's just as regular a ratchet as you'll ever want to use, but the quality is very good. The 90 tooth design on the gear is rather fine. It gives you a four degree arc swing. So it's nice and, nice and smooth lifetime warranty. I can rebuild them on the truck for you if it breaks. And they have the same 90 tooth version available in a long handle design and in all drive sizes. There is a particularly long set of ratchets in quarter and three eighths drive that are the 120 XP mechanisms. Those are very popular too, and even finer than the 90 tooth because those have a three degree arc swing on them. Also lifetime warranty can be rebuilt on the truck while you wait. But uh, if you need just a really good serviceable three eighths ratchet that feels good in your hand with a nice smooth mechanism, look at the 90 tooth ones from GearWrench.
Gear wrench makes outstanding torque wrenches. I would stack them up quality wise and reliability wise and accuracy wise with any other brand on the market, including the CDI torque ones that are made for Snap-on or Mako or Mac ones. And these cost about half as much as those other brands. And whether you want the click type or the digital type, Gear wrench has you covered with both for all drive sizes. I've been selling mostly the digital ones. The price difference is so great between the gear wrench ones and say Snap-on or Mako that people are happy to spend it to get that kind of function set and, and features in the torque wrench. They beep, they light up, they vibrate when you hit your target torque. They have a flex head, they have the, tw they have the 120 XP mechanism and they do angle. All for, you know, between three and four hundred dollars depending on which drive size you want. Well, they also have excellent click type ones. This is a quarter inch drive one, and it goes from 30 to 200 inch pounds with a regular, regular adjustment on the handle for your torque. 120 mechanism, 120 XP mechanism for the head, so it has a three degree arc swing, and it's, uh, Calibrated and certified right out of the box. They're very easy to get serviced if you need a gear wrench, torque wrench recalibrated or repaired or certified. I can do that for you. Um, any brand, really. I've, I take in all different brands of torque wrenches for repair and calibration because we work with a company who only does torque wrenches. It's a company called Angle Repair in West Virginia. And those guys are terrific, so I want to give them a shout out. We, uh, we use them a lot uh, exclusively for all of our torque wrenches and they've never ever let us down. Good quality repairs, fast turnaround, fairly inexpensive. Very glad to be doing business with them. For butane powered soldering irons, there are a few choices, but the de facto is the one from Power Probe. Just fill it at the base there with your butane and pull the button to click to turn it on and the tip heats up rather quickly and you can start soldering. You can remove the tip to use it as an open flame if you need a torch function, has a cap. And the kit comes with an assortment of tips, some solder and a sponge and a couple of wrenches down here for swapping out tips. It has a cutting tip, has a heat shield for heat shrink and a couple of different soldering tips. It is the most popular one that I sell. It's one of the few that I know of that uh, that that people have a have a. I guess I've really bought into the Power Pro brand when it comes to these and their torches. Although for their torches, I I moved away from the Power Pro Mini Torch. I think there's a slightly better value going with the Master brand. The pricing is a little bit less, and I've never taken one back in that had failed or was damaged at all. And I've had uh, a little, I've had less success with the Power Pro torches over time than I'd like. So I switched brands to see if we could get a better quality brand in. And sure enough, uh, I don't see the, the breakage. I don't take care of the warranty stuff uh, with the master ones. And I don't, I don't think I ever have. But with Power Pro, I have seen them from time to time. So that's enough for me to try a different brand and see if I get better results. And sure enough, we have. Lyle makes the same kind of oil filter wrenches for every brand. You'll see these sold on the Mack truck in a different package, but check the part numbers, they are the same. Mack just puts an L in front of theirs, uh, probably for Lyle, so they know where they got it from. But these are your regular lifetime warranty oil filter wrenches in a variety of sizes. Uh, they go for around 17 bucks a piece, depending on the size. Uh, maybe $18 now. Prices have been creeping up over the past few years. And unfortunately, you know, these guys have also fallen victim to that. But these are the nice ones with a swivel grip on them. And they do have a lifetime warranty. And what usually fails on these are the spot wells on the band here. Or sometimes a swivel um, can't quite put up with the torque that you need to remove an oil filter. And sometimes the handle bends. It's all covered under warranty. If you have any problems like that, I'm going to swap them out for you. Here's one of the ratchet sets I was telling you about. This is the four piece 90 tooth ratchet set. They have this same set in the 120 XP version. 
but it's a lot more money. This one's on sale on the flyer, so this is what I'm stocking up on so people can take advantage of the sale price. It has a stubby 3 8 quarter drive, long, long handle 3 8 and a long handle half inch, all with the non-locking flex head. Lifetime warranty, uh, again, four degree swing arc with the 90 degree, with the 90 tooth design in the head. The nice comfortable handle, great serviceable set of ratchets. Perhaps the greatest value in wrenches? I don't know, I'll say it. Prove me wrong. Are wrenches from Sunex. The pricing's outstanding, the quality is outstanding. They have these nice stubby wrench sets that come in a roll-up pouch. This is the metric set that goes from 10 to 19 millimeter. They have a wonderful standard set that goes all the way up to one inch on the stubbies. And you don't normally see stubby wrench sets to go to one inch. These are the beautiful full polished finish on these. Nothing fancy, but an excellent set of stubby wrenches. And no, you're not gonna pay a lot of money. I think this set's under $70. Compare that to a stubby wrench set on, on any other tool truck, and I think you'll give the edge to price in Sunex, and their quality is so good, you won't miss not spending three, four times as much on another tool truck. The best thing about Sunex's warranty policy is these have a lifetime warranty on them, but Sunex has what they call the Sun Express program, where if you don't have a dealer that you can go through, I mean, if it's me and you break a wrench, I'll just give you a new one, take your old one. But if you don't have a dealer, you can just take a picture of your broken tool, submit an online form on Sunex's website, and they'll send you a new tool. Easy as can be. I love them for that. Any company that makes warranty processing easy, seamless, Question free gets my vote, and I've been I've been loving Sunex for years. Love their wrenches. Um, they have a really good long handled set. They have great jumbo sets. They have a really good angle set too for hydraulic fittings and stuff. Jumbo wrenches of all sizes. I just sold a set of off scent wrenches to a guy. They have half moon wrenches. They're they're terrific. So I, I love them a lot for their wrenches and their their impact sockets cannot be beat. So. Love Sonics for a lot of reasons. I, I love being able to sell their brand. Love doing business with them. This set of four magnetic toolbox trays from K-Tool is a great organization and storage option. It has a large parts tray, a small parts tray, a three can tray, and also a towel roll holder here. You can also turn those the, the rack ends facing up, and then you can use them as hangers if you want. Some people put their boots or their work shirts on them. Um, you don't have to use them for paper towels, but if you have a paper towel roll that you want to put on there, they'll fit. This is a really good quality set with big heavy magnets on them that will, that will stick securely to the side of your toolbox or the lid of your tool cart. This is the one that I keep on the truck all the time. All right, here's what I've been dying to show you. And I've sold a few of these already, but this one's, uh, going to be sold the uh, Wednesday after I sh I've shot the video here. This is the Milwaukee two-piece impact kit. It has their half-inch gun, their high-torque one, has their three-eighths mid-torque, two batteries, a charger, and a bag. Now, the high-torque gun is rated for 1,400 foot-pounds in reverse, and the three-eighths is rated for 600. Five-year warranties on the tools and three-year warranties on the extended capacity batteries. Why do I show this to you with some special affection? Because Milwaukee has put together some bundle deals that, that, that they give to the dealers and they give you options. Like if I buy this set, for example, I will get, I'm giving the inside information here, so don't, don't tell anyone. It's just between us on the internet. So if I buy this, the deal is I get the M18 grease gun for free. Yep. 
I would normally buy that two piece set anyway because it's such a great seller. So I buy that, I get the grease gun. That means I can do a lot of different things with this bundle. I can offer that two piece kit with a free grease gun for somebody. Great, that's a really nice incentive. I can break the kit up if I want and offer a discount on each piece because the overall value of that kit, if I sell the individual pieces, will make sure that I'm still profitable but offering a discount. So what I've done is this, uh, within, within a week uh, of each other, two customers asked for the half inch gun kit, which is the high torque impact gun with two batteries and a charger and, and a case or a bag. And right now it's going for, I think, $8.49 in the flyer, which I think is a lot of money for that kit. So instead of giving them a price that I know they choke on and, and, and probably shy away from, what I did was I bought this setup. I will break out the half inch gun, the two batteries, the charger, and the bag. I will keep the 3 8 gun and that, and that grease gun. And then I can sell those for a discount or we can do raffles with them, we can give them away, we can do promotions with them. In the meantime, I'm selling that half inch kit for about $130 less than what they're listed for in the flyer. So the customer's getting a steep, steep discount. And I'm getting tools that I can sell to make a profit on, even if I sell them at a discount. So as long as they all sell, and they will, because these are very good selling tools, I'm still gonna make money and the customer's gonna save a bunch of money. I could even do a thing where, oh, maybe I wanna sell it for the Home Depot price or something, I can do that. And I don't have to worry about making money on it because it's already built in where selling that half inch kit at a steep discount already pays for everything I bought. So everything else is bought and paid for by that one customer and then I can offer incentives and deals with the rest of it. So that's what you look for as a tool guy to try to get some, some ways to sell tools at a more competitive price and maybe meet or beat um, online retailers or, or Home Depot as a retailer because we can't often do that. But when we get bundled deals like this, a lot of times we can. And that's why I was so interested to show you this because it's one of those rare good deals that comes along that are very meaningful to both the customer and me as a retailer. And anytime you get both of us happy, that's a win-win. I'm making money, the customer's saving money, and they're getting the exact tools that they want. So I hope you found this tool haul valuable because I thought a deal like that was worth telling you about. It gives you a little bit of you know, behind the scenes information as to what goes on on the business side of things. And I thought it was fun to share with you because it's such a great selling set of tools. So keep watching the channel because we've got interesting videos coming down the line that I know have been pretty popular. One of them is we're gonna go through Snap-on Flyer and we're gonna go through a Matco Flyer. You can see I've already, <laughs> I've already designated the pages I'm going to talk about. We're going to look at some of their deals and compare them with the deals I've got and what they're selling for online and discount retailers because we're going to see where the value actually lies when you look at what's available on not just my tool truck, but my competition's tool trucks and what's going online. So we're going to pull back the curtain on all that and do a deep dive and a comparison between the identical tools that are sold in different outlets to see what the price difference is and what you're getting or not getting in service to help you make a better buying decision. So do me a favor and click down here now to subscribe so that you don't miss any of it. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, use a tool. Don't be one.